Hey Capricorn, welcome to your weekly reading for uh, June 28th to July 4th. My name is Johanna, welcome to Tenacious Soul. Uh, we are going to go through some general messages for you guys for the week. So take what resonates, leave the rest. You can always check out your sun, your moon, and your rising sign. So, Capricorn, wow. <laughs> There's a lot of cards there, none of them really like flipped right over. So, uh, let's see <laughs> where we go for you guys. What is going on for Capricorn this week? What is going on for my Cappies? All right, we have Revelation, Unmarked Trail. And we have Whale Song, Resonating. Bottom of the deck, we have Drifter, Experiencing Life as it Comes. So, uh, what I'm getting for you, Capricorn, off of these cards is you're kind of in this, like, uh, flow state, I want to say. So, it's almost like, and it's funny because we're in Cancer season, which is your opposite sign. I feel like there's a strong water element here, um, like, raising your vibration that is, like, almost like put it bringing you into unmarked territory like you haven't been here before but you're kind of going with the flow like you're kind of like slowly kind of drifting through this trail <laughs> is what I want to say because some of you don't really know maybe where it is that you're going or how you're going to kind of move forward you're just kind of like yeah you're just going with the flow um, but it's like this opportunity or this this opening is here because you're in vibration with this new phase of your life. So let's kind of see what else, what is going on for my Capricorns this week. So we have the King of Pentacles, the Five of Pentacles, and the Three of Cups in the recent past. We have the Ace of Wands, the Nine of Wands, and the Four of Pentacles in the current energy. Near future, we have the Wheel of Fortune, the King of Swords, and the Emperor. Interesting. Bottom of the deck, we have the Ten of Wands. Interesting, because we have both the Nine and the Ace of Wands as well here in the current energy. You guys are, <coughs> you guys are working on, on finishing something up or closing something out is what I want to say, uh, with the Eight of Pentacles, Ten of Wands, like, there's something you're working on completing, or you're putting a lot of energy or effort into something here, that I feel like is more of like a practical sense, there's something with regards to your goals, um, this week, for sure, like achieving something, maybe starting a project, and like putting a lot of time and energy into it, in order to kind of like get to where you want things to go, um, recent past here, we have the King of Pentacles, the Five of Pentacles, and the three of cups um i'm not sure if somebody walked away from people here or a person some of you have just like removed yourself from like social settings with the five of pentacles three of cups like maybe there's people leaving your life <clears throat> just generally or you're removing yourself from certain types of people because you no longer resonate with them you're starting to notice almost like where you don't fit in anymore and I don't really feel like it's in a negative sense. I actually feel like it's in a in a good sense because you're you're elevating. And so it's like you can't stay with these people from the past or that you've currently spent time with because they no longer they no longer serve their purpose. If that makes any sense, it sounds bad, but it's like they just don't fit in in your life anymore because they they're not on the same trajectory. They're not on the same path. Um, some of you, maybe there is a specific person who has left this. Some of you are leaving third party type relationships. So it's like if someone's not putting you first, you're kind of leaving that behind. Um, in the current energy, we have the Ace of Wands, we have the Nine of Wands and the Four of Pentacles. So there's something this week that I feel you're putting a lot of energy and effort into. There's some sort of goal. Um, you're inspired to kind of like work towards something here. And I do see it with the Eight of Wands or Eight of Pentacles and the Ten of Wands in the overall energy. It's like you're you are completing or you're working on completing something like almost like um, 
almost like weaving things together. I'm p really picking up on the spider here in the th in the Eight of Pentacles card. So there's something that you're trying to like coordinate and like bring together. And for some of you, it's like finishing up something or you're working on a task that you're wanting to kind of get done. Maybe that's a project or something. Some of you, it could be school. But with the Four of Pentacles, it's like there's a goal. There's some sort of achievement that you're trying to obtain. Um, in the near future, we have the Wheel of Fortune, we have the King of Swords, and we have the Emperor. I kind of feel like this is one person. I'm not really getting two different energies from this. I feel like there's somebody here who maybe wants to talk. Somebody who's coming to... Yeah, something's coming in here. And they want to communicate. For some of you, this could be somebody who's like older than you. Or it's like, it could even be a boss. Like maybe it's something with regards to, some of you could be like reviewing a contract with somebody. Um, so maybe they want to talk about that. Others of you, this could be love related. We're going to kind of clarify and see. So Capricorn, let's see what this five of pentacles is in the recent past here. What is this five of pentacles here in the recent past? There's like an energy of you guys just doing your own thing this week, like focusing on just the mundane things that you kind of have to do. You are trying to, again, like I said, like finish something, but I feel like you're very, um, yeah, you're just kind of like in your own lane, you know? So Five of Pentacles is clarified by the Death card and the Ace of Wands. So you moved on from something because the Ace of Wands is in your current energy. There's something you maybe left behind. Again, this could be people. This could be even a work setting. What's this Three of Cups? Clarify this Three of Cups in the recent past for Capricorn. Clarify this Three of Cups. Page of Pentacles and the Three of Cups again. Some of you could have started learning something new. But again, I see you moving on from it. Why, why the Page of Pentacles? Why the Page of Pentacles? Some of you are leaving like behind immature people, people who like aren't necessarily, again, they're not at the same, like they're the page, they're pages and you're the king, you know? Like they're just not on that level anymore or you're, you're not on their level, like you've superseded something. Eight of Wands, Ace of Pentacles. Some, a lot of you have something new that you're starting out that feels right to you with the Hermit. Again, you're, some of you are learning a new thing. So there could be a communi community of people that you're kind of entering maybe even um, that is teaching you something that I feel like is bringing you into this new space. Some of you just don't like where you're at. Some of you have gone through a, a transformation here in the recent past, and I feel like it's within your finances somehow. Finances or career. You've definitely left something behind, and I feel like you're moving in a new direction. So what is this Ace of Wands in the current energy? Some of you could be dating if this is love. You could have left, if somebody like, um, somebody ghosted you or you maybe you ghosted somebody else like I don't know um I feel like you've, you're moving on to something new you're looking for something stable the ace of wands is clarified by the nine of pentacles and the wheel of fortune a lot of you this is money focused though this is you getting a creative project off the ground putting a lot of energy into it working on your your success your finances what's this nine of wands here for Capricorn the magician and the fool yeah, you're, you're not giving up on something that you want, that you're manifesting. And again, you're like putting a lot of energy and time into it. Some of you, this is something that you've wanted to do for a while. Like this is something that keeps kind of like pulling at you to move towards. We have the emperor, interesting. Yeah, and with the Seven of Wands. So you've blocked somebody or you're not talking to somebody. Maybe they've blocked you. There's like no communication, I feel. And I think that's why you're focused on this, like whatever project you're working on. What's this Four of Pentacles here for Capricorn? That's a lot of cards. Oh, the sun really wanted to come out. So it's interesting too, because the sun, 
so the sun came out with the four of pentacles four of pentacles is sun and capricorn temperance and the lovers and the empress you guys are actively choosing to work on something that is has your focus like again it's like something that has your focus and it's also like your money your career um there is like reconciliation energy here or like somebody from possibly even your past that like i feel like they're in your energy but i don't feel like there there's no communication between the two of you there's no it's almost just like lingering but a lot of you are just actively making the choice to work on something and balance something out when it comes to some of you are just focused on your stability again i feel like that's what it is regardless but you're focused on your stability so let's see what this Wheel of Fortune is bringing in in the near future, Capricorn. What is this Wheel of Fortune here in the near future for Capricorn? What's this Wheel of Fortune? Okay, so we got the Wheel of Fortune again, the Eight of Pentacles. You guys are going to be hard at work when this comes in. Yeah, we have Six of Cups, Two of Pentacles, the Devil, the Page of Swords, the Knight of Wands. Somebody can't let you go. Somebody who has like a strong attraction desire for you, I feel like is coming back in. They've been debating on this, I feel, but there's like a cycle that you're in with this person or I feel like you're going to be working in this person or like you're focused on other things and this person maybe sends you a message. Maybe you see this person at work somehow. Um, whatever has been hidden, like I almost feel like someone might express emotions here. We have the moon and then the ace of swords and the ace of cups behind that. So like I don't know if this person's coming in to say something to you, but it's almost like for some of you, there might be something's coming to the surface or like a truth or it, there's communication that's kind of like coming out of nowhere for some of you. What's this King of Swords? Clarify this King of Swords here for Capricorn. We have the High Priestess, the Empress, the Hermit, and the moon and the ace of swords yeah there's some sort of truth like almost like a secret that's being revealed i kind of already feel like you knew about it though like this person might tell you something you already knew they might think you don't know but i feel like you already knew and for some of you this is definitely somebody you're not talking to yeah there's What's this emperor? Clarify the emperor here. Knight of Cups at the bottom. So we have four of swords, two of swords, the strength, the ten of cups, and the six of wands. This person's really been trying to hold back from this connection, but I feel like... Like they've really been trying to block this out, not think about it. And almost like kind of get their mind right. But it's like they can't they, they can't stop paying attention to you. You catch their attention so much. They really try to hold back, but they can't. It's like, I don't know if they can't stop thinking about you. Definitely somebody you've dealt with before in the past. I don't know who this is. They're coming in as the emperor twice. It's somebody you're, I, I definitely am getting it's somebody you're not talking to currently. Um... And again, I just feel like you're busy doing your own thing and then like there's this like random message or like, I don't even know if they communicate. I do feel like they come in or you see them somewhere or something like that. Like they might send you a, like a, a kind of a passionate type of a message or something like that. I do feel like they kind of keep tabs on you, but they are going to seem cold and detached. Maybe that's what they're hiding for you is their emotions. But they do want to say something to you. They do want to express to you. But they do have deep emotions for you that I feel like they are aware of, but they might not want to tell you this. They've been really trying to hold back from you here. So let's see what your advice is for this week, Capricorn. What is your advice for the week, Capricorn? We have the world, the seven of pentacles, judgment, 
Five of Swords. Mm, give me one on the Judgment here. The Hermit. Yeah, focus on yourself. The Tower. The Devil. Oh my God. Queen of Swords. Page of Cups. Someone's definitely coming back around. I feel like it's going to be shocking. Again, I feel like it's you're in, you're in hermit mode, kind of like you're focused on yourself. You're focused on your, your own goals, your own aspirations. It might kind of cause some conflict or drama. I don't know if that's going to be this week, though. It might be kind of more into July for some of you. For some of you, even I want to say the fall, which is really weird because this is a weekly reading. <laughs> but... I feel like your your advice is to focus on yourself, judgment, seven of pentacles, and the, the world, sorry. So some of you, this is definitely working on like your finances, your career, especially with the world. It's fixed energy, it's 10th house, or it's Saturn, which is Capricorn, which is 10th house. Um, so definitely focusing on your money, what you, how you're investing your time, your energy into things, you know, investing energy and time to, to clean things up or to work things out, like to kind of close out cycles. A lot of you, it's like your advice is to kind of move on from this situation, I think, for the, for the meantime. This person will be back around. And again, they'll kind of come out of nowhere, Hermit and the Tower. They will come in to kind of like resurrect. There is this like karma here because the devil's out again. But then there's the Queen of Swords of the Page of Cups. So I kind of almost, almost feel like they come in a little bit sheepish with the Page of Cups here to apologize and... You know, you're willing to talk to them, but you're kind of almost like you got your guard up a little bit. And if, you know, you're going to be very clear and direct with this person. Yeah, this person might like be coming in. They might be going through some changes in their life and that might be why you're not really speaking to this person. They're trying to rectify things in their own life. I don't know what that means, but they're going through some of their own their own stuff in the meantime so I feel like for right now your advice is just to like focus on yourself so uh that is what I have for you Capricorn <laughs> hopefully that's helpful for you guys I just see you guys focus on your goals and stuff this week um and this person might be kind of on your mind but I feel like they it'll be in the future here where they start to come back in so uh hopefully that resonates and I will see you guys in the next video thank you so much for watching bye